Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very casual video for you. I'm currently packing for our next trip. We will be hitting the road for two weeks. I wanted to just show you what I pack in my makeup and my skincare, toiletries, hair care bag. I love road trips because I don't have to limit myself in terms of like the liquid carry-on rule for airplane travel. So all my makeup will be in this base cosmetic case and then all my toiletries and skincare will be in the Nice BB. So I will turn you around and show you what I pack. Again, because this is a road trip, I'm not restricted to the airplane travel liquids restrictions. So I like to bring some new things that I can play around with during my downtime, including we have here the Christian Dior Le Balm. This is their newest hand cream and it's so cute. I just have to show you the packaging. It has the same little logo. You open it up here and it has instructions for how to open it. This is it, very cute little Dior logo in the front. In the back it says the bomb hands lips body i don't know that i would put this on my lips but i like that it has a hinge opening so it's easy to just kind of pop open and squeezes out there it is very light cosmetic scent very cute scent and a nice secure closure so it doesn't pop open in your bag then we have the new coffre dior riviera i ordered this when it first came out because i love this set i love the whole dior riviera collection i actually also purchased the full size of the new dior riviera fragrance which i'm not bringing because it's very big but they do make a smaller size if you're interested so here is the box. So here it is. And I love that this has a mirror. You have all the different nail polishes here. I love blue. I love these neutrals. Nice orangey coral pop of color. And this kind of pearly white. This is what I use on my toes. And then it also has their new eyeshadow palette. I haven't used this yet, but it's so pretty. And I love these colors. You have this kind of a pearly beige. And then again, with the blue nice neutral and then it comes with two eyeshadow brushes i'm gonna go ahead and bring this with me and and then just the white nail polish for my toes i'll pack these with me for my trip and then for foundation i'm bringing the dior face and body i am in the shade 2w this is mostly my winter shade so i plan on getting pretty tan i'll be at the pool on the beach so i'll probably have to warm this up with like a bronzer but this is my foundation for the trip and then brow products i have the dior show pump and brow i don't know if they still make this this is a little older but i'll link whatever version they currently make and then this one they definitely make now this is the kabuki brow styler i like that this has an angle tip on one side and then the other side is this little mini oval brush to fluff out your brows. And I wear the shade dark brown in the Kabuki brow styler. And then of course we have the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I have this in so many colors now, and this one is a newer one. This is the Bronze Glow, but I just love this for the summer when I'm nice and tan. And for fragrance, I have my favorite Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. I own I think every single flanker in the Miss Dior, but I love the Blooming Bouquet. It's just very pretty. This one and Rose and Roses are my favorite of Miss Dior. And then from Charlotte Tilbury, I have a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever. I love that the box shows you how to break this up into different trios. I also like to keep powder products as much as I can in the boxes so that they don't break. But here is the palette, very, very pretty. So when you open it up, you have a full size mirror at the top and then it's broken up into different trios. So you have four like color options. I mean, you can mix it up if you want, but it literally tells you prime, enhance, and then smoke out. So it's kind of a foolproof way to do your eye makeup. And then you can also use these shades as eyeliner or brow powder. But I like that it's a mix of matte and shimmers. And then Charlotte Tilbury also just came out with their new Airbrush Flawless Lip Blur which is their new liquid lipstick and they very generously sent me all of the shades. So I'm going to try out a bunch of them, but for sure, I think my favorite so far is medium blur. Here are all the different colors and then medium blur is right here. So it's in their very pretty packaging, similar to like, I like their collagen uh, lip gloss, I think it's called, but this is it, so it pumps out. So I just think the color is very pretty. It's not too drying on my lips. And then if you want, you can always top it with, you know, a lip gloss, but I will definitely be bringing this one. You can also mix and match if you want. So if you wanna, you know, do like an ombre look, you can do the flame blur and 
ruby blur or with the like nudes i might mix these two and then i just might wear the classic pillow talk medium blur uh, maybe with a darker liner if i want to uh, intensify it but i am going to be bringing this with me and then another great product from charlotte tilbury is their eyes to mesmerize this is just such an easy one swipe and you're good to go for the day i like product it's a creamy eyeshadow this is in the shade champagne and it comes in this little jar so this is it that's what it looks like very pretty i'll show you how it looks like swatched that's it so you just kind of sweep this all over your lid and then you can put in a bronzer in the crease and that's it you are good to go for the day on me i do have to use an eye primer underneath so that it doesn't crease but then it just kind of lasts all day long i just think it would be so pretty at the beach and i would probably swipe this all over my brow and then also my brow bone and then just opening this up i keep all my like pencils in this top flap this is really meant for brushes but i like to keep the pencils in here so for lip pencils i have two from huda beauty the very berry and deep rose and then from rare beauty i have fun and this one is gifted and then from natasha denona I need a nude lip crayon. I have the shade Renee. These are all pretty much like neutrals for me, except this one is a little darker, but I like to wear lip pencils. And then for eyeliners, I have Huda Beauty Creamy Coal and MAC Liquid Eyeliner. And then LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. And I got this in the champagne color. This is what I used to brighten my under eyes. And then just to bring you in to the rest of my makeup bag, this is one of my favorite foundations with SPF. This is the Say Slip Tint. It has SPF 35. Okay, another new-ish product is from Say Beauty. This is the Glow Sculpt Multi-Use Cream Highlighting Blush. And I have it in here in the shade Mauve Glow. This is really nice because it's like a powder, but it goes on like a cream. So it just looks a lot more natural, I think. But that's it. It's very pretty. I'll just swatch this too for you guys. Very pretty on the cheeks. Another new cheek product is from NARS. This is their new Afterglow Liquid Blush in the classic shade Orgasm. And this one is a liquid blush on a doe foot applicator. So you just put a dot. It's kind of light, but it blends out really nicely when I apply it. So that's it kind of blended out a little brighter, very pretty. And then new from Tatcha, I have the serum stick and it's kind of like a stick moisturizer, but it just feels so nice. And this really is better for airplane travel because it's a solid. So you're not using up your liquid count, but that's it. I mean, I don't know why I'm just watching it. It comes on clear, but it just feels really nice and moisturizing. And everything else here are things that I've used already that I just love and I just use them all the time. The Kosas uh, Revealer Concealer. I'll list everything below because I just, it will take forever. But yeah, these are just what I will be packing for my trip. And then moving on to my skincare, we have in the Nice BB. Again, just to highlight a few, we have the Tatcha Rice Wash. I really like this. It's an exfoliating cleanser, but it's very like micro fine exfoliants. It just feels so good when I'm washing my face with this. And then another tinted moisturizer with SPF. We have the Super Goop Glow Screen. This has SPF 40 and this is in the new shade Golden Hour. I love this. More SPF from Super Goop because we will be at the beach every day. And more from Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream for daytime and Indigo Cream for nighttime. Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. More Super Goop, the Daily Dose Mineral SPF. This is in a dropper applicator and then the glow stick for touch-ups throughout the day, SPF 50. My night serum is the It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Serum. And then for my hair, I have the Sol de Janeiro Milky Leave-In Conditioner. And then I re-upped on my Briogeo Strengthen and Repair Hair Care Minis. I love this. I show this every single time. It has the Don't Despair Repair Shampoo, Conditioner, and Mask, and then an oil. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Setting Spray. Dermalogica Deep Acne Liquid Patch. This is for spot treatment because I feel like whenever I go out, because I'm using so much SPF on my face throughout the day, I always break out. So I always make sure to pack an acne cream. For my eye cream, I have the Pericone MD Brightening Under Eye Cream. I haven't finished packing, so I probably will do some shuffling around, but I will also probably pack this little case here. This is from a seller. Her name is Yuka on Instagram. I'll link everything below, but she takes 
Hermes dust bags and like upcycles them into little cosmetic travel pouches. So she has this little toiletry train case set that comes with this and then it also comes with three additional pouches. I gave one to my mom, but isn't it so cute? They're so well made. I love them. I'll link everything below and you can use my code a heated mess to save I think 10% off. These are super cute. If I have a smaller purse, I usually br will bring one of these smaller pouches with me or I like to keep my little lip products and stuff in here. But for the trip, I probably will pack my extra, any lip products and perfumes I will pack in this little train case. So this zips open and opens up here. You have a little pocket here. So these are all the fragrances I'm packing. Again, we have the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And whenever I'm going on like a beach vacation, I love to bring these travel Tom Ford fragrances. We have the Tom Ford Mandarino Diamalfi and then Soleil Blanc. Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Carosa 62. This is their classic. It smells like their Boom Boom Cream. These kind of live in the bag. I don't know if I'll bring these, but these are my, my other favorite travel fragrances. We have the Chanel Chanso Tondra and then Armani My Way. And then my newest fragrance is from Dossier. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Dossier. They came out with their new aquatic vanilla, which is a dupe of the Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. I got this from Sephora last year, I believe, during their Sephora sale. It was part of their sampler. I wear this a lot throughout the summer. It's vanilla vibes. It smells like the summer. It smells very beachy. And I only have the full size of this. So it's, you know, it's heavy. Like I wouldn't travel with this, especially even on a road trip, even though I have the space, I wouldn't bring this with me because it's so big. But luckily, Dossier came out with their aquatic vanilla. And so I've been using Dossier fragrances for a long time. They make a lot of great fragrances that are inspired by designer fragrances. And what I like to do is actually kind of use both of them together. So especially with like Chanel and Dior fragrances, what I do is I would have like a thick base layer of the original. And then I just carry the Dossier fragrance around with me to kind of freshen up throughout the day so that you're not wasting the, you know, more expensive fragrance. Similar to Juliet Has a Gun, Vanilla Vibes, the aquatic vanilla from Dossier tells you right here on the label. For top notes, you have marine notes, red fruits, rose, vanilla orchid, coconut, musk, sandalwood, and benzoin. It smells so summery, like you are on a tropical beach. It's such a great go-to summer fragrance and it's so much more affordable than designer fragrances. So I'll link this in the description below also, but they also run their own promo. So if you purchase something like two or three or four, you know, something like the more you purchase, the more you save, but I will link this below. This is a great option for a summer vacation. All right, and that is all the makeup, skincare, hair care, perfumes that I'm packing for my beach long vacation. I tried to kind of rush through everything, but I will definitely link every single item in the description below, as well as any promo codes that I have. But let me know what are your favorites when you are going on vacation. Again, you wanna have your favorites, your tried and true, but it's also fun to play around with some new things. So let me know what you are planning on bringing with you on your next vacation. Thanks so much for watching guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.